Hey everyone, it's Deacon082, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we did some training for Fluff outside of Mount Ember Spa. And in this episode, we're going to surf up towards what I think is Mount Ember up here. But first, we have a little bit of a sea route. We're still on Kindle Road, so it does not count as a new area, unfortunately, for us. Um... There were some moves I thought about teaching in the last episode. I'm going to hold off on them for now. I also forgot to check if Signal Beam was physical or special, because Bug is just the one I always forget. Like, all the rest makes sense. But just because there are so few Bug-type moves, I always seem to forget about it when it comes to physical special. Honestly, I might have a strategy guide for something laying around that I could actually find the answer on, but I don't think I do. I could look online, but then I'd have to pause the video and come back, which I don't really feel like doing. So, I'll do it before I record the next episode. By the way, everything since level, uh, everything since episode 30 have been back to back. Like, this is episode 34. Starting with episode 31, I've been recording these all in the same day because, well, when this goes up, this one will be on Friday, I believe? Yeah, this will be Friday the 10th will be the day this video is going up. And I am not going to be home for that. And I'm going home starting the 6th. And I won't be able to upload, but of course, you probably know that by now. So I'm just taking like two days off from uploading. And after that, all these uploads are going to be back to back. And all pre-recorded, just, just so I can get videos up. Because if you didn't have any videos this week, I don't know, you might forget about my series or something. Yes, that has happened. It, it always seems like I end up taking some kind of unwanted break in the middle of a series and it kind of like ruins it like crystal version for example it wasn't getting that many views when i did my first nuzlocke but basically when i moved i just kind of wasn't into recording for a while and i basically took a a one month long break from recording and uploading so there was just that really big gap in the series, and I lost a lot of my viewer base because it took so long. And here we are getting put to sleep for the second time in this one battle. I suppose I could switch out instead of healing that, but I mean, I'm already in, so I might as well. Although something like a Polito would be great experience for Fluff at the moment. And then a Carvana, so it seems like everything's great experience for Fluff. Surf takes it out in one hit, and we don't get rough skin, which is why I didn't use Body Slam. Alright, so Fisherman Tommy defeated. Up here might be Mount Ember. Entrance? Anything in these rocks? Nope. Anything in these rocks? Nope. Okay, so we are here inside Mount Ember. So there is an outside to Mount Ember. This guy wants to teach Explosion, which is not going to be Explosion. It's actually Sacred Fire. Oh my gosh, Sacred Fire. Now, I'm not going to teach it to Concha, but it has a 50% chance of inflicting a burn. That much power, good accuracy. I'm not teaching it because it goes off special attack, so... Um... We lost Ariel with with Strength and Waterfall, so I'm going to have to reteach Strength and, uh, you know what, we'll give it to Concha over... I haven't really been using Rest, so it's probably good to have Rest still, but we could always teach it back if I can figure out how to get those uh, mushrooms. So... We'll work around the outside of Mount Ember here. I don't know exactly which way we should be going to get around this place, but I will figure it out. Pokemon Ranger Beth, level 38 Dust Flops. We'll start off by using Thunder Wave, just so it can't troll us with some of its moves that it will use, like Curse, possibly. And then we'll eventually finish it off with Thunder Punch. 
There we go. Fluff almost up another level. Here is a Stantler. Um, might as well do the same thing. Oh, well, that's a waste of a turn right there. Another Thunder Punch. Two Thunder Punches will take out Stantler. Ampharos is like Pikachu. It just static paralyzes everything. Static is just so good. And then a Pidgeotto. Static's one of my favorite abilities just because how useful it is. I find it better than Poison Point. And especially a slow Pokemon like Ampharos needs something like static or else it would just have a hard time just keeping itself from always moving slower than the opponents. So we'll get our encounter from Mount Ember outside. Does the outside count as a different place than inside? I don't know, but uh, our encounter is going to be a Metapod, and I really don't want this, so... And I probably couldn't have weakened it anyway. So... We have Rock Smash as well. I really don't know what the uh, best way around this is, but we'll figure it out. Crush Girl Jocelyn with an Elekid. It would take too long to take that out with Thunder Wave, so we'll go to uh, Concha. Good special defense. Basically the equivalent of an electric resistance when you have that much special defense. And you're going down in one hit. Everything's... Everything that's weak like that goes down in one hit easy. Hitman Chan we might have to worry about though. We'll use Body Slam and it almost takes it out. Sky Uppercut's gonna do a bunch, but um... Do we have the Quick Claw on Concha? Yes we do, so we're not guaranteed to go first next time. Um... Liz can handle Hitman Chan. And now you decide to use Ice Punch, so that... I don't really know why you would decide to do that instead of Sky Uppercut, but... I won't question you. Fly and hit my chance down. Concha took some damage there. A critical would have killed us, but not worried. Trainer all the way up here. So apparently Mount Ember is an active volcano. That seems kind of dangerous. Sun Kern will go down with a Thunder Punch. It doesn't. A Sun Kern survived a Thunder Punch. I know it's not very effective. But it is a Sun Kern, and you're using a full restore on a Sun Kern? Really? Okay, I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of this, but next up we have a uh, Vile Plume. Still don't really have a lot to handle it with, so I'll just go Concha. We're gonna get paralyzed, and this is where Rest would come in handy, because it would save us from having to use healing items, but we'll just use two Body Slams and finish it off. I was hoping for paralysis, but it wouldn't have mattered. Okay, Concha takes out Vile Plume, and now, well, we'll have to probably heal up. Uh, I'll just use a Hyper Potion. Paralysis doesn't really hurt Snorlax that much, so... This is the entrance to Mount Ember. At least one of the entrances. Maybe there's, like, more stuff around here. Well, here's a dire hit. Not something I've really ever found myself using. What else we got? Whoa, is that... Is that who I think it is? Team Rocket is gonna dig around here for something. Unfortunately, they don't seem too interested in what we're doing, so... I guess we have no choice but to head inside of Mount Ember. After we get around. Again? Now, Mount Ember, you probably know what's there if you've played through this game before. Even I know what's there. I'm going to say, uh, because they're both called Mount Ember, I'm going to say the outside counts as the same as the inside. Of course, it depends on what I run into here. Another Sid Widow. So, I'm, I'm going to say the outside counts as the same as the inside. I already said that before. Flail, that's going to do a lot. Alright, the only problem... Uh, Fluff's kind of in the same boat that Concha was before, having only the one attacking move, and it only having 15 PP. Here's a Ludicolo. Ludicolo has a really weird typing that resists a lot of things that are super effective to one of its types. And like I said, we don't really have anything there, so I'm actually going to use an Aether on 
Thunder Punch to restore some PP because this Ludicolo's Ludicolo does not threaten me at all. I believe Ludicolo's only weaknesses are flying and bug and poison. Because all of water's resistances or weaknesses, the grass kind of cancels out. So Mount Ember is, seems to be a pretty straightforward path, as now we're on the outside again, on like a higher level up. Well, I see an item, and I see a nice little boulder puzzle. I kind of like boulder puzzles. I mean, they never get too difficult, and they're always kind of fun. And we have a Nidorino in the Rock Smash Rock. That's not even worth fighting. Uh... Another rock smash, so we have to rock smash that. And wow, it's actually a Geodude. That's surprising. I will also use a, a soda pop just to get back close to full. Or right at full. So we have to push this one up and this one out of the way. Pretty straightforward for a Firestone. Nothing that, we don't have anything that evolves with it, but it's still a nice item. And here we have an Ultra Ball. Could come in handy. Another Firestone. I honestly didn't know there was one there. I just kind of checked the rock. I'm in a habit of, like, checking for hidden items. But here we are, farther up in Mount Ember with some more boulder puzzle fun. Okay, so we have to push this one up, that's for sure. Then this out of the way. And we have reached the top of Mount Ember. Now the question is whether this really counts for it, because technically there are different areas in Mount Ember, and I probably should have been paying better attention because, well, we've already had our encounters in Mount Ember, so we can't actually catch this one, but it is another level 50. Normally Moltres, here it is a level 50 Slowpoke, so this would have actually been nice because this Slowpoke is on the level where it probably would evolve into Slowking because how the uh, level system for trade evolutions work in this game. Because how they changed it, but I'm just going to take it out in one hit because we have already had an encounter here. So that's not bad. Finished up Mount Ember, and now we're going to go ahead and fly back to uh, One Island. And we're going to finish up the rest of One Island in this episode because we really haven't been playing for that long. It's been about 12 minutes of recording, so we can head south to Treasure Beach. I don't know what's at Treasure Beach, but there are going to be a few trainers on the way. This is Swimmer Amara with a Graveler. So was she surfing on the Graveler? I don't know. <laughs> That's kind of interesting to wonder about. If you've seen the comic, I think it was from, yeah, it was from Awkward Zombie, where Trainer sends out a Graveler in, uh, while surfing, and it just sinks into the ocean. Pretty funny, actually. I haven't seen Awkward Zombie in a long time. I have a few comics, like, bookmarked that I... Like, the best thing to do with comics... I'm not the type of person to, like, just be able to read one, like, what I do with Cyanide and Happiness, for example, I have it bookmarked, and I only open that bookmark, like, once every three months, and then I just read through three months' worth of comics, and that's the best way to do it. The other one I have bookmarked, by the way, is Poorly Drawn Lines, I love it. But we're here at Treasure Beach, apparently there are, there's, like, washed up treasure, but I don't see any. Um... I guess we'll get our encounter for Treasure Beach, unless I can sneak through here, but it doesn't look like I'll be able to. We have a Pidgeot, level 33. So Pidgeot's going to die to a uh, Thunder Punch more than likely, so... Um, I kind of want to just chuck an Ultra Ball full health and see what it does. Ah, close. Close, I guess we'll keep trying. I, I could switch to something else and try to weaken it, but these balls are doing pretty well. Alright, so we caught a Pidgeot, level 33, so it's a little under-leveled, but it's fully evolved. So that's less work for us later on. This Pidgeot is going to be named Francis. Don't ask me why, because I have no idea why. But we have Francis. Um, 
Apparently the thing with Treasure Beach, items get washed up here and they're hidden, I think, but I don't know how Treasure Beach works. So it looks like we're done with Treasure Beach. I don't see any washed up items. Here's an Alma Star. I guess since um, this is kind of short, I could extend the episode a little bit by just doing some training, because so far we found Omastar and Pidgeot, so it's good training for Fluff early on. Here's a level 40 War Turtle, so that's high level for here. But once again, all stuff we can take out. Of course, it's not Fluff that's underleveled right now, it's Poncha. As here's a Jolteon, level 31. Poncha will be able to take that out in one hit with whatever it uses. Body Slam will do the trick. Double Kick won't do much to us, because Jolteon's physical attack isn't much. Alright, so we'll get Contra up to 42 and Fluff up to 43, I guess, and we'll finish off the episode. Man, if I ever need to train an Electric type, this is the place to go, because so far we found three Water types, two Flying types, Jolteon. Yeah. I, I like Treasure Beach now. I like it a lot, man. Yeah, so Fluff's up to 43 now. We'll get Concha there, and then we'll end off the episode, and I guess next time... Well, we've already done, I think, everything we can do. No, we haven't done everything we can do on Three Island, because there was the uh, Three Island Pass right at the beginning. There was the little cave, and we haven't gone in there. But I, I guess we'll do Two Island in the next episode, and then go back to Three Island. Just might as well do them in order. But there's not much to do on three, so we could probably finish three up rather quickly after two. So yeah, that's what we'll do for now. We'll take Liz and fly over to two island. Faster than taking the boat. And we'll go heal here at two island. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke, we will be, like I've said about seven times already, we'll be taking care of all we can do on two island and maybe going over to Three Island if we have time, and all this before we head back to the mainland and finish up the Kanto Gym Challenge. So, see you guys next time.